Why would you put Emulation Station on your Steam Deck? Well, because it's f awesome! And just when you thought it couldn't get any more awesomer, we show you how to add images to Emulation Station and also the Steam Deck library. Let's take a closer look. Let's just dive right in. First step is to head over to steamgriddb.com and here you can search for your images. You will need a Steam library poster, a logo, and a background image. Once you have all the images you need, you're going to open the Steam app, scroll down your library and find Emulation Station. Wait, I almost forgot you can change that ugly long Emulation Station dash DB name. Find Emulation Station dash DE in the left navigation bar, right click and choose properties. At the top here, you can edit the name to whatever you want and then click exit. Okay, wait a minute, where the freak were we? Oh yeah, library and then Emulation Station. Find them. Find Emulation Station, right click and click set custom artwork. Click the drop down menu, select home deck, find the folder you save the image to, which is the pictures folder in my case, and select the poster image. Now let's set the logo and background image for Emulation Station detail page. Click Emulation Station in the left menu, right click on the header or background image in this case, set custom background, at the bottom select all images and then choose your background image. Next right click on background image again, click set custom logo and then select your logo image. Uh, I'm not sure I'm happy with that. With all due respect that kind of looks like shit. Oh they have transparent images as well. I wish I would have seen that before. That's a little better. For this step you're going to want to head over to game mode or steam mode as I like to call it and run emulation station. The next few steps should be pretty familiar to anyone who has used emulation station before. Press the menu button on the Steam Deck and click Scraper. You can choose from two different sources, Screen Scraper or the Games DB, and then choose what system you want to scrape for. By going into Content Settings, you can also choose what media you want the scraper to look for, videos, 3D boxes, etc. When you are done tweaking all your desired settings and search filters, click Start. Now that we are done, you should have a pretty cool looking emulation station setup. An emulation beast that you can stick in your pocket. Okay, the Steam Deck isn't necessarily a handheld that you can pocket. Go ahead, try. I double dare you. I guarantee it's not gonna fit. Either way, it's pretty cool to have something that you can emulate PS3 games on the go and not have a bulky laptop with you just because you need the power. The Steam Deck is enough. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for the Wii Deem gaming community, leave those down below. In the next video, we're gonna be taking a look at the JSOX dock for the Steam Deck. I know, I. I freaking butchered it, I know. You can tell me in the comments anyway, even though I pointed out right now. I know, I did not say the name wrong. Look at that, I'm sitting there rambling on about how I pointed out that I said the name wrong, yet I said that I did not say the name wrong. I'm just wrong all around. Although it's a doc, it's pretty cool, and we're gonna be talking about it in the next video, so if you're interested in that, you know what to do. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.